The Lord be with you. The processional hymn, Church Hymna 387. Church Hymna 387. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and on behalf of the vicar of the church, 
we want to welcome every one of us to the presence of the Almighty God. We pray as we fellowship together. The Lord Almighty will bless and increase our joy in the name of Jesus. We also want to thank God for grace to see this year Ascension Day, which was celebrated last week, Thursday, with bonfire. We pray that grace to see many more of Ascension Day in the land of the living, the Lord Almighty, we grant unto every one of us in Jesus' name. Today is another wonderful day in the life of the church. The last Sunday in the month of May, and after that, we also go to the hall for the love feast. The Lord Almighty will bless and increase our joy in Jesus' name. The service of Holy Communion. The end of all things is at hand. Therefore, keep sneak and sober for your prayer. I will bless the Lord at all times. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. This is the day which the Lord has made. Collect for purity together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thought of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Summary of the law. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment, and the second is like limnidis. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. On these two commandments, hang God the law and the prophets.
God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be a advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Here also what St. John says, If anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. Let us confess our sins in penitent and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all people, meekly kneeling upon our knees. As we go down on our knees, corporately, we shall say the general confession together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbors in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate thoughts. We have not sufficiently worked according to the mind of Christ. We have named the name of Christ, but have not departed from iniquity. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, Forgive us all that is past and grant that may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives utterly repent, have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and keep us in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. The collect for the week, the epistle, and the Holy Gospel. We have the collect on page three of our bulletin. Reverently, we shall take the prayer together. Let us pray. Eternal God. The King of glory, you have exalted your only Son with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. Leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen and exalt us to the place where Christ is gone before and where with you and the Holy Spirit he is worshipped and glorified now and forever. Amen. Please sit back. For the readings. The, gospel, the epistle is written in the epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Ephesians, chapter 4. Big reading begins at verse 1. I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of calling to which you have been called with all lowliness and meekness, with patience, for bearing one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you are called to the one hope that belongs to your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and Father of us all, who is above all and through all and in all. For grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gifts. Therefore, it is said, when he ascended on high, he led a host of captives and he gave gifts. To men. In saying he ascended, what does it mean? But that he had also descended into the into the lower parts of earth. He who descended is he who also ascended far above all the heavens, that he might feel all things and is gifts for that 
some be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the equipment of the saints, for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood and to measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. This is the word of God. The gradual hymn. The Holy Gospel is written in the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 16, beginning at the 12th verse. I have yet many things to say unto you but you cannot bear them now. How be it, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, for whatsoever he hears, that he shall speak, and he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore said I, that he shall take of mine, and shall show it unto you. A little while, and ye shall not see me. And again a little while, and ye shall see me, because I go to the Father. Then said some of his disciples among themselves, What is this that he said unto us? A little while, and ye shall not see me. And again a little while, 
and ye shall see me. And because I go to the Father, they said unto the, they, they said therefore, what is this that is said? A little while, and we cannot tell what is said. Now Jesus knew that they were desirous to ask him, and said unto them, Do you inquire among yourselves? Of that I said, A little while, and ye shall not see me, and a little while ye shall see me. Verily, verily, I say unto you, that they shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice, and ye shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. A woman, when she is in travail, hath sorrow, because her heart is calm. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembered no more the anguish, the joy that a man is born into the world. And ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man take it from you. This is the gospel of Christ. As we remain standing, let us begin to appreciate God. Let us give him praises, honor, and adoration. Let us thank him because he is God. He has been so faithful to us. Today is our patronal festival, Father's Day. It's a day that we rejoice that our church was founded. Let us thank God for the life of our heroes, the life of our heroine, the founding fathers. Let us appreciate them. Thank God for being alive. If you are part of the founder, it is time to say, Father, I thank you for using me to build your church. If you come in between, or you are new, thank him because of the impact you see going to make in the church of God. I don't you thank God that you are alive, hale and hearty. Nobody brought you to the church. Nobody forced you or compelled you. You came here even all by yourself, willingness. Thank God for your children and thank God for your family. I don't you join me to say this sir, chorus from the bottom of your heart. Lift him up higher, lift him to God to lift you up. Begin to talk to him. Father, lift me up. Lord, lift me up. In my businesses, lift me up. Lift my children up, O oh God. 
lift their head up, O God. Father, magnify yourself in my life, in the life of my family, in the life of my children. I want to experience you. I want to experience your power. Lord, you are ascended into heaven. Lord, you are ascended into heaven. You seated at the right hand of God, interceding for me. Father, lift me up. Lift me up in my businesses. Lift me up in whatever I do. Talk to God. In what area you want God to lift you up? Talk to him now. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. We are still thanking God. We are going to also sing, making us to be alive today. What shall I say? Unto the Lord, all I have to say is thank you. What shall I say? Unto the Lord, all I have to say is thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. song, but I don't know what area you need to appreciate God. If you look at last year, from now, last year to this moment, what has God done for you? What has he not done for you? If you think God has not done anything for you, did you visit hospital? Have you visited mortuary? Have you seen people that are languishing in pain? Have you seen people that the economy are useless, their money and their riches? Sing the song with your might, with your heart. What shall we say unto the Lord? and I decree into your life. Because you have appreciated what the Lord has done for you in the past, I pray for you. Before the end of this year, as the oracle of the living God, you will have reason to thank God. You will have reason to appreciate God. You will have reason to laugh. You will have reason to dance. In the name of Jesus, if that message is for you, a louder amen. I pray for you. If you could try and say a louder amen, miracle that will make you forget your pains. I don't know what pains you are going through or you have gone through. Miracle that will make you forget your sorrow. Miracle that will make people ask you, please take me to your God. Receive now. Receive now. 
Receive now. Receive now. In the name of Jesus. I declare receive such miracle. Receive such miracle. Miracle that will dance your enemy. Miracle that will make you dance without music. Miracle that will make you laugh when nobody is even around you to make you laugh. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. As you are saying, Amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. We hear, we know that Christ's ascension defies natural law, law of gravity for many of us that are physics students or engineers. Because of that, may God break every protocol to elevate you in the name of Jesus. Whatever the circumstances may be, may the good Lord break every protocol, any protocol, that may want to act as, a, as an impediment for your lifting in the name of Jesus. Any protocol that is acting as an impediment for the lifting of your children, may the Lord break them right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord will lift you up. The Lord will elevate you. You are rising. Your children is rising in the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 7 says, When he ascended unto a high, he led captive in his train and gave gifts to men. I don't know what is in your heart this morning, but let somebody say, Oh God, my Father, set me free from every captivity, from every chain, from every sorrow, from every pain, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray if this prayer is relevant to you. Set me free from every captivity. Set me free from every chain. Set me free, O oh God. Set me free, O oh God. Set me free, O oh God. I don't know what chain you are in. Who has put you into that chain? Either your enemy, either yourself, ignorantly, advertently or inadvertently, you have put yourself in that chain, in that captivity. The Lord is saying, I'm setting you free. I'm setting you free because he ascended on high. He led captives in his train and gave gifts to men. Lord, in the name of Jesus, set me free. Set me free, O oh God. Set me free. What area? Are you in anguish? Chain of poverty? Chain of sickness? Chain of sorrow? Chain of backwardness? Ten steps forward? Fifty steps backward? I don't know in what area. You are the one that knows where you are experiencing that chain. Lord, set me free. Set me free in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. This morning, I set you free from every captivity, from every pain, from every chain, from every basket. In the name of Jesus, receive your freedom. Receive your freedom. Receive your breakthrough. If your amen could run like thunder, receive your freedom. In the name of Jesus. Bible also recorded he gave, gave gifts to men. He did what? He gave gifts to who? To men, not to animals, to men. We are going to declare this money. Father, Father, let me be relevant in this life. Let me be relevant in this generation. Let my children be relevant because I've said if you are old and you think you don't need any relevance again, in as much as your children are relevant, you will be relevant. 
Mama, uh, the mother of our vice president, is relevant today because the, his son, our son, is the vice president. The mother of our president, of our governor, they are all relevant. Father, make me, make my children to be relevant in this life, in their generation. Pray for your children. If you don't even want to pray for yourself, pray for your children. Make my children to be relevant. Make my children to be relevant in this life, even in their generation, in this world, oh God. Father, let my children be relevant. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. The Lord will make you to be relevant. The Lord will make your children to be relevant. In their generation, they will be relevant. In this world, they will be relevant. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, oh Lord, my God. Oh Lord, my God. Let me identify my hidden talents. Let me identify my hidden treasure. Open your mouth and pray. You can appropriate this prayer for your children. Many of us, we don't know our treasure, our hidden talent. We don't know how to identify it. Pray that the Lord will give you that grace to identify your hidden talent, grace to identify your hidden treasure. Everybody treasures have been deposited in their life. He gave gifts to men. He gave gifts to men to be leaders in the church. He gave gifts to men to be relevant in these generations. Many of us, because we cannot identify that ID treasure, we are not useful to the church. We are not use useful to God. We are not useful to the society. We are not even useful to ourselves because of what we fail to identify that hidden treasure that will make us to be relevant. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I pray for you this morning, and I declare as the oracle of the living God, by the anointing upon my head, the Lord will give you grace to identify your hidden treasure, hidden talent, you will discover in the name of Jesus, your children will identify their hidden talent. They will identify their hidden treasure. In the name of Jesus, they will fulfill purpose. You will fulfill purpose. They will fulfill purpose. You will fulfill purpose. Your glory will rise. The glory of your children will rise. They will arise and shine. In the name of Jesus, as you are saying a louder amen, they will arise and shine. Also, you will arise and shine. If you are at the top, you will not go down. If you are down, the Lord will lift you up. When men are saying there is a casting down, you will be saying there is a lifting up. In the name of Jesus. And I pray for you. No, the Lord said you should pray it yourself. Somebody say, oh God, my father... Every abandoned project, every of my delayed, every of my delayed blessing, delayed settlement, Lord, receive grace now. I speak to you, receive grace now for miraculous recovery, for miraculous recovery and testimony in the name of Jesus. Open that, open your mouth and pray. Every of my abandoned project, Every of my aiding and delay settlement, every of my debts, in the name of Jesus, receive grace for miraculous recovery, for miraculous recovery and testimony, in the name of Jesus. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Every abandoned project. Every of my delayed settlements, every of my debts, oh God, receive grace for miraculous recovery and testimony. On my abandoned project, there will be testimony. 
there must be recovery, O oh God, miraculous recovery. In the name of Jesus, every of my delayed settlements receive recovery. Dry bones arise again. Dry bones arise again. That's what the Lord is saying. If dry bones can rise again, it means that your abandoned projects will receive recovery. Your delayed settlement will receive recovery. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I declare every of your abandoned projects. Receive divine recovery right now in the name of Jesus. Receive miraculous recovery in the name of Jesus. Receive miraculous testimony in the name of Jesus. Every of your delay settlements, the Lord will say to you. The Lord will say to you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will not abandon you. The abandoned project in your life, because the dry bones shall rise again. That's what the Lord is saying. I declare they will rise again. They will live again. They will work for you. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will bless your going out and your coming in. Your week shall be safe. The Lord will take care of your needs. The Lord will bless his church. The Lord will bless his country, Nigeria. The Lord will take care of us in this church. Even the church universal, the Lord will take care of us. The Lord will bless our primates. Henry, the Lord will bless our Archbishop, Olumakaye. The Lord will bless our Bishop, Olushola. And bless our Archdeacon, our Vicar, Olufemi. And the Lord will bless all our priests, all our curates. And the Lord will take care of everyone that works for God. And the Lord will give unto us evil clothes of purity. And it shall be well with our family. Thank you, Jehovah God. It is well with us. It is done. It is working. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And the children of God says, let us have a seat. We give glory to the almighty God. We appreciate him for answer prayers. And we also thank him the way that he's moving us forward. If we look back as a church, we have cause to thank God. We thank God that the church of God is moving forward spiritually, physically. The Lord is doing his wonders in our life. His wonders will be felt in your family. In the name of Jesus, your amen is tired. The Lord will move us forward in the name of Jesus. I want to appreciate God for establishing Anglican Church of the Ascension of Kwebi. We want to thank God because it has pleased him to set up this church. I didn't say it was. It has pleased him because it pleases God always to bless his church. We want to thank God for the people God used to establish this church, this parish. We want to thank God for the heroes that work assiduously to make sure that the church stands. We want to appreciate the heroine that the Lord used. It is somebody that the Lord will use. No wonder Ephesians chapter 4 is saying, and he's also saying in verse 7, when you read through, but to each one of us, grace has been given as Christ apportioned it. And when you now go to verse 11, it was he who gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists, and some to be pastors and teachers. Verse 12 says, to prepare God's people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up. God gave them the grace, and we want to thank God that they caught the vision of God upon his church. You will catch the vision of God for your life and for this church in the name of Jesus. In his house, you will be relevant. Your amen is not convincing. In his church, you will be relevant. In the name of Jesus. 
we want to thank you sincerely. And we want to thank you also, people God has seen using to move his church forward. And we want to thank God for the finances, for the moral support. And we want to thank God for your prayers always. The Lord will be there for every one of you in the name of Jesus. Today is our patronal festival, and it is also Sunday after Ascension. And for us, we need to let us know some of these things, because as Anglican church member, we need to defend our faith. That is the difference between us and the new generation churches. Because when you ask the, any members of the new generation churches, they will say that is what our GO said. And that is what that we have been told. But in our case, any time thing we tell you, it is by a biblical base. And that's why we want to tell us this morning, our talk, our teaching, will be combined with a little bit of preaching, but basically to let us know the background of, our, from of some of our faith and belief in him. The Lord will illuminate our hearts to understand all things in the name of Jesus. So Ascension Day was on Thursday last week. And when you look at the number of days after resurrection, it was 40 days. So, I mean, after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And the Lord Jesus used the 40 days to teach his disciples about the kingdom of God. Teach them what it is all about, and also gave them assignment in the process. Assignment God will give to you. The Lord will give you grace to do it, to accomplish it, in the name of Jesus Christ. So my dear people of God, when we are talking about ascension, ascension is very important to us because that is our name, Anglican Church of the Ascension. And then what are we talking about, about ascension? It means lifting up. It means exaltation of Christ. And it also means taking up. From the passage I read, I'm going to take my text from me, but I will take it from verse 7 of Ephesians chapter 4, the epistle that was read to us. It says, but to each one of us, Grace has been given as Christ apportioned it. This is why he says, when he ascended on high, he led captives in his train and gave gifts to men. What does he ascended mean? Except that he also descended to the lower earthly regions. He, he who ascended is the very one who ascended higher than all the heavens in order to fill the whole universe. It was he who gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists, and some to be pastors and teachers to prepare God's people for God's works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up. Praise the living Jesus. So if God, I mean, Jesus Christ has not gone to heaven. If Jesus Christ has not ascended, there is no way he would have given gifts to men. This morning we are looking at, at the same time, leadership gifts in the church. This gift would have manifest or manifested if Christ had not ascended. What are we talking about? ascension it was taken up and then remember in act of apostles chapter 1 verse 11 it was stated there that this jesus christ that was taken away the way that he ascended it is the same way we come back and take his elect and judge the people when you look at it critically, my dear people of God, if Jesus Christ will come, what will be our story? He took him 40 days, lecturing his 
disciple before he left. And 10 days after Pentecost, he told the disciple, wait here until power comes on you on high, and then he will come in the power of the Holy Spirit. And a week after, we'll call it Trinity Sunday. Praise the living Jesus. So when we are looking at ascension, what are the benefits of ascension briefly? Because we need to know the benefit of the name we bear. And we need to know the benefit of what we are talking about. So Jesus' entrance into the world was a unique one, as was his exit. Last time I was talking to us about the mystery of resurrection of Christ. And I said everything about Jesus Christ was a mystery. His birth was a mystery. His death was a mystery. His resurrection was a, his, uh, a mystery. And his better too was a mystery. And then we are talking about his ascension, a mystery. How can you imagine somebody saying somebody just ascended up? In Yoruba parlance, they always say, a day. I'm sure many of our elders, if many of the younger ones don't, don't know what is called a day. A day means that when tragedy wants to occur, something somewhere will just carry the person and the person will disappear. It was even said by the, by the, by the literates, let me call it that way, the Gentiles, the unbelievers, that it was a day Jesus Christ used to ascend into heaven. And if it was a day that Jesus Christ used, up to now, no astronaut has ever said they saw Jesus Christ somewhere. They can never see Jesus Christ. It is only you and I that can feel him, and you will feel Jesus Christ in your life. You will feel Jesus Christ in your life. In your situation, you will experience Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ ascended. They said it was a day. Up to today, nobody can explain it because it was a mystery. Let's look, even look and make jest of this, some of these people. There was an accident that occurred. The driver had been so reckless before then, and he was really worried. He said, don't worry. By the time accident or quality happened, it will carry me to a safe place or safe haven. And the owner of the car, too, also was using it. But the third person that they carried did not know anything about it. And also did not know that these two people are in, I mean, under the protection of a day. But they are forgotten that it is all those that God protects that are protected. Praise the living Jesus. When the accident occurred, actually the a day worked, but it went wrong. And a day did his work. The driver met himself. He, on the top of a very tall tree. Maybe if the guy was sitting well on the tree, it would be better. The guy's clothes was hanging on the tree. He was dangling, and the tree was far away up. And if he managed to fall, the guy will fall into the dish, and the guy will go from there. And then the owner, the master of the car, the master of Ebe, and the master himself went and found himself inside a thick bush that he could not even find his way until two months after. And by the time, by the time he came out, he was something else. Eventually, two, three days after, he died. You could see what the works of man could do to you. That is why anybody that relies on the power of man, where it will lead them, the Lord will be there for you. In the name of Jesus. So if no astronaut could really say this is where Jesus Christ is, it means that Jesus Christ has ascended in the right hand of our Father and praying interceding for us. 
Praise the living Jesus. In John chapter 16, verse 7, if Jesus has not gone back to his father, Holy Spirit wouldn't have come. He said, I will go to my father. I will send Holy Spirit to you. He will come to you. If I have not gone, we wouldn't have come. So it is because Jesus Christ has ascended that Holy Spirit could be with us. And also, number two, the prince of this world stands condemned forever. John chapter 16, verse 11. And the ascension we are talking about to release the disciple from the constraint of specific geographical location. Nowadays, you cannot, you don't need to start looking for Jesus Christ anywhere. You need to pray to Jesus Christ anywhere you want to be. It's not in a specific place. Because we normally say before now that Jesus is right, was right in a kitchen. Onara. Ni olorun gba sise iyanu and ara is in a kitchen. Praise the Lord. But now Jesus Christ has ascended for us to see, for us to pray to. It is not any news to anybody anymore that as you are praying to Jesus Christ in Lagos, you are doing the same thing in Ibadan, in Enugu, in the north, US, anywhere, and Jesus Christ will hear you just because he has ascended. Somebody say ascension. There is no limited, it's not limited by space or time anymore. Before now, Jesus Christ will say, let us go to the other side. Let us go to this place. Let us go to that. But at the end of the day, it is when he gets to the other place, miracle will occur. But now, miracle do occur every day, even in our life. That is why you don't even need any priest to get your miracle. The only thing you need, you need the priest to confirm the miracle. Praise the living Jesus. So, number four, as Christian, his ascension means that he will be with us wherever we go. He said, Lo and behold, my presence will go with you. My presence will do what? We go with you. That is why anytime you go anywhere, remember to take Jesus Christ along. The Lord will be there for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And number six, number five. He's our forerunner. He has gone to prepare a place in heaven for us. John chapter 14, verses 1 to 4. He said, do not let your heart be troubled. Trust in God, trust in me. In my father's house, there are many mansions. If you are not so, I would have told you. I'm going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back. I'll take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. That's why your work here on earth will determine what type of mansion you are going to have in heaven. Some of us may have terrace, duplexes. You know, as you have terrace, duplexes in, in, the, in the world, you have it in, the, in, the, in heaven as well. You have faced me, I slap you in heaven. You have palaces, you have bungalow there. The, your works will determine where you will be. Though everybody, some of you will make heaven, some of us will make heaven, but where will you sit? Where will you sit? That's the meaning. I mean, that is the question. Can your work permit you to have what it takes to have in heaven? The Lord will help us. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord also gave power and authority to the people. He gave power for us to ask in his name. John chapter 14, verse 12 to 14. He said, whatever you ask in my name, I will do it. Give me verse 13. John 14, 13. I will do whatever you ask in my name. That is Jesus Christ's name. So that the Father may be glorified in the Son. This morning, whatever you have asked of the Lord, the Lord will do it for you. 
His name will be glorified in that what you have asked. In the name of Jesus, he also gave gifts to men, which you have heard in the morning. I mean, just at the beginning of this message. He gave gifts to who? To men. That is why we have leadership in the church. That is why we could say that these people are the leader of the church. And th that is why we say that, yes, these people are in charge of this thing. That is why in the church of God, there must be a leader called priest. And that is why we need to cooperate with whatever leader God has given you at a particular time. My dear people of God, there is no leader that you have that God does not have hand in it. Even the so-called president we are talking about complaining, if God has not allowed it, he won't be there. And maybe God gave him to us to teach us a lesson. Let us learn from the Israelites how God gave them different type of king. Even the word they forced him to give. So, at the end of the day, they regretted it. The Lord will help us in this country. In the name of Jesus. So, one of the crucial needs of a growing church is good leader. Even in a growing country, it's a good leader. And a church needs this leader that will serve God wholeheartedly. But what, where can we find such leaders? Because in the church now, we cannot say we have leaders again. Because every leader now thinks about his own pocket, about his own tummy, about his own family. Most of the people perpetrating evil in our country, they are Christians, Jeremiah, John, David. They are not Islamia. So what can we, how do we place it? So the Lord will help his church. The Lord will help his people in the name of Jesus. Different gifts have been given to men. That is why we need to pray always, what is my gift? So that I can use it to lead the church. But when God gives you these gifts, you must be careful the way you use it. It is not for you to use it to oppress anybody. It's not for you to use it to disorganize anything, but it's for you for the edification of the house of God and to build up the people of God. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. A wonderful demonstration of this could be found in Acts of Apostles 2, chapter 6, when Jesus Christ was, I mean, gone, and we are, they were, their disciples were looking for people that will replace some of the lost disciples along the line. The early church needed these leaders, and they needed these people that will lead the people of God. But they had to set up criteria for this. I pray that the Lord will move his church forward. In the name of Jesus. So out of this came a, uh, able men like Stephen, if you will remember, who became the first Messiah, and Philip, who became very dedicated evangelists. These are the leaders. We could liken these people to our founding fathers of this church that work dedicatedly to move the church forward. We salute your courage. And the Lord will bless you. So God provides the leaders. Now, what are the characteristics? I've just given you three, and then we end the message. The people of old, they said to themselves, let us get people among us Seven men of honest report, number one. Then number two, people full of the Holy Spirit. And number three, people full of wisdom. These three works together. You cannot elect, you cannot choose people without honest report. Unfortunately, we use eyes to choose our leaders recently. That is why we are facing trouble we are facing even in the country. 
And we cannot choose people that are not full of the Holy Spirit. There's many spirits that determines whatever we do, but when you are not sensitive enough, Holy Spirit will not be at work. And then Holy Spirit followed by the wisdom. Quickly, let me just analyze the three and we close. So number one, when we are talking about the honest report, it means that one must have a good reputation in public and be well spoken of by everyone. So this is first qualification it's a moral one. It's a moral issue. One should be above reproach, no matters. Whether, whether it is being in a family life, social life, working life, or financial matters. Is there anything in a person's background that could be used against him? Somebody said, if you don't want anybody to dig your past, don't go to politics. If you don't want anybody to dig your past, don't go into priesthood. Because all these things will be revealed. And I added, even the worst place you can even walk after becoming a priest, where you grew up as a youth. And that is what happened to people like us. We grew up in Festac, my own church of Pentecost. Fortunately, don't let me say unfortunately, I was posted to under the Ashidikinri, and people that knew the way we grew up were under our administration. And I told somebody that this is to tell us that you have to be careful when you are growing up. Praise the Lord. So there must be, the man must be a man that is of honest report. And then number two, full of the Holy Spirit. It implies that a leader cannot be a new Christian, but one who has grown into Christian maturity, having already learned how to submit daily to the direction and guidance of the Holy Spirit, so that his will and desires are fully in tune with God's will and desires. Praise the Lord. So number three, I close from there. Please don't look at your time. It is only Sunday. I have time to talk to you. Because I don't see you during the week. So I've aggregated all the time. I'm supposed to talk to you during the week to Sunday. I've known that my people don't have time during the week. So that Sunday, all of us will stay here and listen to the word of God. Because if you must survive what is going on in this country, then you must be built up. That is why when I mount the pulpit, I don't look at time. And if you look at your time, you are in trouble. Because we need to hear the word of God, my dear people of God, and know the faith, and believe in the faith, and defend our faith. It is where you don't know all these things. One pastor somewhere will be deceiving you, toicing your life. As from today, the Lord will deliver you. The Lord will deliver you in the name of Jesus. Are we together? Amen. Be no Praise the Lord. You are my brothers, you are my sisters, fathers, and mothers. You can't be annoyed. Because in the presence of God, there is what? Fullness of joy. On his right hand, there is what? Fullness of forevermore. There is benefit under the presence of God. So the last one, the top qualification, is a little more difficult to have, but you must strive to have it. You must learn it. Some are born with it. Some learn it along the line. Some go to training school. Not everything they will train you in school. I always tell my people, it's not everything they will train you in the seminary. You have to train yourself. You have to learn it. You have to determine to succeed. And you also you have to determine to be loyal to God. Praise the living Jesus. So when you still look at Act of Apostles chapter 6, verse 3, because all I've been telling you is in Act of Apostles chapter 6. So this one, uh, by, verse 3, wisdom. So in this context, it refers to the skill in administrative or leadership matters. This is very needed in the church. I always say my people, 
especially when I have yoga ones under my, under my training or mentorship, I tell them, priesthood is more than carrying microphone and speaking or praying and telling people that they got their miracle. It's more than that. Your head will be working 24 hours. We priests don't sleep. It is output you see. That is why you see some priests behaving as if they go crazy. Because we think for you, we pray for you, we bear your body. That is why average vicar is called courage. Do you know the meaning of courage? Cura of soul. Because all your souls, by the grace of God, either you like it or not, have been entrusted to our hand. Because you cannot see God. That is why he has put a leader among you. Praise the living Jesus. So wisdom is very important. Ability to organize and plan, to make sound decisions. Sound decisions. Babangida will say, a very bad thing that could happen to a leader is not to take a decision at all. Either wrong or right, take that decision. And that's what we have learned over time. Be sure by day be your blessed memory we say, I post you in a church and you are telling me you are coming back. You have audacity to come back and say, the road is blocked. Somebody is blocking you. You cannot move forward to achieve the task you are supposed to achieve in that church. I better sure we understand what I am saying. Papa, I don't think we tell you, if it is block, fence that is blocking you to achieve your goal, break it the wall down. You have my permission. But those whatever is blocking you to get to, your, to, to, to that destination, I've sent you a message. Go and deliver it. When Jesus Christ was going, he told his disciple, go and preach the gospel. Go and liberate the people. Go and heal the sick. I will not say somebody, Juju man, is disturbing us from achieving the aim. Ah, you are not ready to work for God. That is why to be a priest, you must be ready to fight. Because that goal must be achieved. Praise the Lord. It goes further. It says, it will include the ability to organize and plan to make some decisions, to coordinate activities, to exercise faithful and efficient stewardship and good management of resources. Not everybody has that courage and boldness to do this. It takes certain courage to achieve many things. We bought two plots of land just within a year we came, even less than a year. How did we do it? It was courage, ability to plan, determination. Though it was your money, but we didn't knock anybody's door to disturb anybody. And a leader also with wisdom must have ability to be prudent in spending in order to save, to achieve his goal. Praise the living Jesus. When you look at all this, leadership gifts in the church, it is all combined. That is why when we are talking about priests in Anglican church, somebody called me pastor. A Muslim answer. I said, family is not a pastor. Family is a priest that combines pastor to his work. You can imagine a Muslim explaining it to another person that a priest is a pastor, is an evangelist, a priest is a teacher, counselor, a priest must be an administrator, and a priest must be a church planter. But a pastor was in Pentecostal church and limited to pastoral work. The Lord will bless his church. The Lord will take care of your needs. And in conclusion, my dear people of God, Act of Apostles chapter 1 verse 11 says, Jesus Christ whom you see going up, the way you have seen him going up, he will come back the same way. Come and do what? To come and take his elect, to come and judge the world. When he comes back, 
how are you going to explain your stewardship in the church, in the country, and in this world? How do you explain it? How do you tell the, the Lord, this is what I've been able to achieve? The work, the task you have given to me, have I been able to achieve it? Or you'll be telling God, so, 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 people, so, so, group, so, 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 people in the country are not allowing me to deliver it. That will not be an excuse for God. You need to prepare yourself. If you look at Revelation chapter 22, it says, Lo and behold, if you read through, he said, my reward is with me. I come quickly and I give to everyone as he has performed. Either good or bad. Now I want to God immortal, invisible. The only wise God who is able to keep us from falling. We ask God to up and praise unto him. Now and forevermore. Put your hands together for Jesus. Yes, you can do better. You can do better. You can do better. You can do better. Amen. Grace to follow godly counsel to later the Lord will release that grace upon every one of us in Jesus' name. As we remain standing, Christ is a peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Just wave. Peace of the Father. We are joined with the soul. We are children of the kingdom. We are family. We are one. We are We crave your indulgence. Please have your seat. The things they want to give us a short drama. So I would love us to take it. Briefly, before we take the offertory hymn and also proceed with the service so that we can also release them for their own activity, please, I crave your indulgence. Ah, good morning. How so how is work and everything? Hope everyone is fine. How is everything? Yes, it's business. How is family? 
What about work and children? Very oh, welcome to church this Sunday. Is business Thank for me? No yes, 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 All right. is fine. Thank God. Good morning. How is everything? How is work today? Oh, that was very fine. Do you remember that your friend, then, Peter, he did his wedding yesterday? Ah, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Tell someone beside your side, welcome to church again. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the grace to be alive and in church today. Please accept our thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let us open our Bibles to Matthew 28, 19 to 20. Matthew 28, 19-20 says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. The ministry of laity, which you are, is to represent Christ and his church. Wherever you may find yourself, in life, in society, you need to trust in God. Therefore, I charge you this day to evangelize the people around you. Spread the word of the Lord as is done in the commandment of the Lord. Shall we rise? The Lord be with you. And also with you. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, amen. Okay, see you next Sunday. I'm fine, thank you. How is work? It's a long story, my brother. My sister actually lost my job. Sorry. And then I stopped seeing you at the tenants mostly meeting at the estate. You just kind of disappear, so to speak. Since I lost my job, it has not been easy for me. I could not keep up in paying my rent, so I had to relocate. I've been living from mouth to mouth to cut the long story short, my sister. I'm very sorry. Oh, it's so sad, really, when it happens badly. Anyway, my friend, I will definitely be on the lookout in terms of getting you engaged again. But wait, if I may ask, are you born again? Born again as how? Is he entering into my mother's stomach? No, that's not what I meant to her. You see, those of us who has handed over the affairs of our life to God hardly get disappointed in this manner. We enjoy open heavens with direct access to all the plans God has in stock for us here on earth. Okay. Really? No wonder you hardly encounter life issues like I do. Not How do we long. get me started on this experience? Hmm. My friend, it starts by acknowledging your sins before God, confessing them, and then accepting the Lord as your personal savior. That's all. Okay, I'll do that. You know you're my friend. I did like to invite you to church this Sunday, if you don't mind. Are you conversant with your baby area? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'll take you to the address right now and expect to see you there. Bye. Hello, anybody home? Please, come in. Good morning, Sam. I'm here to see Mrs. Akinbi, our colleagues at the office. Okay, please sit. She has not been feeling well. In fact, we just came back from the admission yesterday evening. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear this. No wonder she has been absent the whole week. Yes, indeed. She has an ailment that keeps reoccurring around this time of year. I'm getting quite used to it and managing it all right. Please, sir, can I see her? I would like to pray for her if you don't mind. Okay, let me check if she can come in.
Take it easy, my friend. I was worried about you when I didn't see you at the office, so I said to check up on you. Please, let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word, which says by stripes we are healed, and above all, we prosper and be in health, even as our soul prospers. Lord, I take away this strange illness from this body in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for absolute and permanent healing in this body in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your answered prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Amen. Thank you so much, Madam, for the prayers. We're not quite used to these prayers of a teen, but don't get me wrong, we are Christians. It's not just enough to bear the name Christians, but we must make conscious efforts to be completely sold out to God. By doing this, we'll be exempted from undue sufferings and diseases, which are not found in the image of God, which we are created from. If you surrender all to Jesus today, I believe this strange illness will be a thing of the past, and you see the hand of God more in your lives and our fears. Remy, if it's only this illness, ah! I need God in the life of me and my family. Please show me the way. You start by acknowledging your sins before God and accepting Jesus and your Lord and personal Savior. That's all. I would like to take my leave now. I would also like to invite you to church this Sunday, if you don't mind. I will text you the address later this evening. The Lord be with you. You are welcome to church again. It is time for testimony. Does anybody want to share with us what the Lord has done for him or her in the course of the week? Let's put our hands together as they come forward. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. I am yet to thank God for his divine provision in my life. Before now, I lost my job, became very broke and helpless as to how to get back on my feet. Since I got born again through a member of this church, things began to shake shape. I was instructed by the Spirit to sow a seed. It was hard for me because I didn't have much, but I had to obey. In fact, I just got a call from a friend to resume office next month. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Today, I didn't know it was possible to get well again without taking medicine. In fact, just the other day, I had a very terrible pain in my chest that I thought would be here forever. But look at me now, alive and healthy, thanks to God. And thanks to my friend, Miss James, who introduced me to Jesus. I have made a covenant with God and myself that any time this church has any event, I will be present and I will participate. Praise the Lord! We seal this testimony with the most precious blood of Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, as you turn to God in this season of open heavens, you automatically become a beneficiary of His divine protection. His pro divine protection, provisions, and so shall it be for you. You, yes you, in Jesus' name. We would like to welcome you to this year, Children and Teens Harvest, tagged Open Heavens. As you fulfill your duties and obligations, may the Lord continue to uphold you, strengthen you in all your endeavors in Jesus' name. Amen. The Children and Teens Harvest has been scheduled for the 17th of July, 2022. Preceding this date are some activities that are outlined for a successful outing this year. We shall begin with Boba Job. This will start from the 4th of June to the 9th of July. We will visit your homes and render cleaning services. The children will be out for approximately five to six hours every Saturday during this period. As we visit your homes, kindly accept and support us. Not only that, online envelopes will be shared to everyone within the church for fundraising. Also, we will decorate people within the church with biblical characters. Please, if you are nominated for this great role, kindly accept and support us. 
Also, babies born within this harvest season will be celebrated. They will be invited as special guests. Children and teens in diaspora will also be recognized. The Teens Church will participate in a Bible quiz in the month of July. We urge our parents to support us. We will also be choosing members of the church to be chairman, chairperson, grandpa, grandma, aunties, and uncles. Please accept our nominations and support us during this time. God bless the Anglican Church of Ascension. Amen. God bless the vicar and the priest. Amen. God bless our parents. Amen. God bless our aunties and uncles. Amen. We love, we love you. Put your hands together for Jesus, a wonderful one, a wonderful one. The Lord will bless these children for us in the name of Jesus. We shall not weep over any of them in Jesus' name. Sincere appreciation for that uh, awareness towards the harvest 2022. We want to please appeal to every one of us, let us key to that awareness. And as you give unto God, he will also bless and increase your joy daily in Jesus' name. The Lord be with you. We shall take the offertory hymn, the offertory hymn, Faith of a Father, Living Faith. We have it on page five of the bulletin. And... Uh, on the screen as well. The gate of steward will please go around to collect offer tree.
are you, Lord God of all creation? Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which the heart has given and human heart has made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. go on your knees as we continue in prayer. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, this gift of bread and wine may be to us his body and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his suffering of himself, made one solace upon the cross, and proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. As we look for his coming in glory, we celebrate with this bread. And this cup is one perfect sacrifice. Accept through him a great high priest. This a sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink this holy gift, in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit. 
inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your son Jesus Christ our Lord through him and with him and in him by the power of the Holy Spirit we all who stand before you in heaven and heaven we worship you Father Almighty in songs of everlasting praise We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Prayerfully, we shall take the prayer of humble access together. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting our own righteousness, but in your manifold men. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the cross under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear son Jesus Christ and to drink his blood that we may have a more dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Holy things to holy people. If any is holy, let him come. If any is not, let him repent. The Lord is here. As we come forward to partake in the body and blood of Christ, the band will please lead us and we pray that God Almighty will minister to every one of us in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name, sing like never before,
Church him now 554 for ablution. Church him now 554 ablution. And teaching them to be everything I've commanded you. And surely I am with you always, 
to the very hand of the age. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. As our Savior taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we're still far off in sin, you met us in your son and brought us home. Die and living declared your love. Give us grace and open the gate of glory before us. May we who share Christ's body live his risen in life. We who drink his call bring life to others. We whom the street light give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us. So we and your children shall be free. And you head live to praise your name through Christ our Lord. Praise the Lord. We are happy to be in the presence of God. Praise the living Jesus. And our Lord is good all the time. Please let us put all our financial commitments together, package them to appreciate God for grace, to witness the last Sunday of the month, and to see yet another ascension day in the land of the living. Package all your financial commitments, the service offering, covenant seed, building, tithes. Let us package them as we rise to lift them up for prayers. The Guido Steward will please help us go around to collect in order to save time. After the prayer, just pass it to your left or to your right, as the case may be. The Guido Steward will please go around to collect it. Please let us rise as we raise them up for prayers. Our covenant keeping God we reverence to you this morning. Father in heaven, we praise your holy name for your sure protection over every one of us. By your grace, in this month of May, we have no reason to weep over anybody. By your grace, you have granted unto us journey messes in all our journey. Lord, we are not taking all this for granted. We raise our offerings up unto you. Lord, we pray that your name be praised forever in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that all this offering be acceptable unto you in the name of Jesus. Even as we look forward to enter into the month of June, your covenant of prosperity, covenant of good health, covenant of peace and joy, we reign in our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you answer prayers. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we pray. Let us be dancing where you are. I'm Give us so one. glad I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus.
together for Jesus. Please be seated. It's time to appreciate God for grace to see the last Sunday in the month of May. And we pray that that grace to see the very last Sunday of the year 2022 in peace and joy the Lord will release upon every one of us in Jesus' name. So, Bring out something tangible to say, Lord, I am grateful. And we we'll pray that our offering be acceptable unto him in Jesus' name. Bring out something tangible to appreciate God for the month of May. We dance forward, drop it, and we'll go back to our seat. But before that, please let us rise as we raise that offering up for prayers. Lord, we are grateful unto you. King of glory, yes, we adore you. For your protection over us, for your joy, for your provisions. When we look back in the month of May, we saw your faithfulness, we saw your power at work in our lives, in our hope even in the life of our children and grandchildren. We appreciate you that we have no reason to weep over anybody. So, Lord, we raise our thanksgiving offering up unto you. Lord, this will be acceptable unto you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that this particular thanksgiving will not be the last in our lives in the name of Jesus. Even in the coming months, Lord, you will remember every one of us for good in Jesus' name. Miraculously, O oh Lord, you will move us forward. You will meet us at the point of our needs. You will silence every power that says we will not move forward in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that in the coming months, people will celebrate us in the name of Jesus. Thanksgiving will not cease in our families in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you answer prayers. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we pray. You are great, yes, you are. Holy one. Walked upon the sea to raise the dead. Oh, you are. 
Somebody shout hallelujah. Let us have a seat. We want to call the family of late Relu Adebisi Olukomi to come forward for the 10th year memorial anniversary of their mother. We also understand that Ama Olukomi was a member of Ladies Christian Circle. So we request members of Ladies Christian Circle to join the family, friends, and also where we shall to join the 10th year anniversary of Mama Elu Adebisi's Olukomi's demise. I want to pray. Father, we thank you for the life well spent, even though it was painful at that time. But when we look back, we want to thank you because you are faithful. You did not leave these ones alone. Say, lo and behold, I will be with you to the end of the age. You are fulfilling your promise in the life of these ones. Father, O oh Lord, we pray, continue to fulfill your promise in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you because when Mama sees and look back, she will have cause to thank you because she has left good children behind. Faithful children to your work. We want to thank you because we know that he that keepeth Israel never slumber nor sleep. Over these children, grandchildren, may you never leave them. In the name of Jesus. My dear brother, my dear sister, you and your family, the Lord will support you. Holy Spirit will guide you. Holy Spirit will defend you. 
where mama wish that you will get to in life, you will surpass it. You will be greater than your parents. You will surpass their achievements. In the name of Jesus, I declare in the house of God, you will be relevant. In the house of God, you will be pillars in the name of Jesus. The Lord will watch you, watch your going out and your coming in. I want to declare to you this morning, your cry has turned to joy. Your cry has turned to joy. Because the Bible made us to know that as, as the end of a dark tunnel comes a light, the light has come. The light has come unto the family of Olokami in the name of Jesus. And I pray for the family of Christian Lady Saku. We pray for the president and the membership. The Lord will be with you. Untimely death will not be mentioned in your midst. The Lord will defend every one of you and take care of you. And as also all of you thanking God how far you have protected this family, the Lord will protect your own family. The Lord will take care of your needs. Your desire he will grant. Thank you, our gracious Redeemer. The Lord will accept your gift. The Lord will accept your offering. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. this other frontier. We have four colors. We have white. We have red. We have green. We have purple liturgical color. The red donated by the by family. And the fifth one, the church added to it, to it which is a uh, good. Pray that the Lord will bless the giver, the family, in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for the family that have donated this, for the hands that have provided this. May they never lack anything good in the name of Jesus. They have brought this, O oh God, to beautify your home, especially your sanctuary, the holies of holy. Lord, we pray, go into their family. Go into their children's family. Lord, we pray, whatever may be their heart desire, release unto them right now in the name of Jesus. They have beautified your altar, O oh God. Beautify their life. Beautify their life. Beautify their environment. In the name of Jesus, the Lord, you will accept their gifts. You will accept their offering. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And so, on behalf of the Lord Bishop of the Diocese of Lagos West, 
Right Reverend Dr. Olu Shola Odedeji, we bless sanctified this other frontal and the rest, wherever they may be. May the gospel be preached. May the sacrament be administered. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us put hands together to appreciate the family. Praise the Lord. Please be seated. It's time for Ascension Day, Stroke, Founders Day, Thanksgiving. We are going to bring out that wonderful offering. All this Thanksgiving is once a year. And that you are part of it this year, it's worth appreciating God. You are not on the sick bed, and you can experience the joy of God in your family, in the life of your children. It's worth saying, God, we appreciate you. So for the Ascension Day Thanksgiving, Stroke Founders Day, Stroke Founders Day Thanksgiving, bring out the offering. We are going to pray over it. Then you dance forward to drop it. We pray over it, then you dance forward to drop it. Please let us rise for prayers. Let us rise up on our feet. We all agree with me that it's worth appreciating God the season. Our Father in heaven, we return all praise to you. Thank you for your church. Thank you for every home represented in Anglican Church of the Ascension of Baby. Thank you for your grace upon us. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for every of your goodness we have received over the years. May your name be praised, O Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Lord and our God, we have come this morning thanking you, appreciating you for what you have done so far. And Lord, we are asking again in agreement this morning that you will continue with us. In a greater dimension, in our individual homes, we will continue to experience you in the name of Jesus Christ. You have declared concerning us that you had given us your peace and that this peace will continue with us to the end. May your peace be established the more in our homes in the name of Jesus Christ. That in all our endeavors, we will continually see you. We will continually see your work. No untimely death, no sorrow, no evil shall visit us in the name of Jesus Christ. Our joy shall continually increase in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Accept our, sac our offerings this morning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come and see, oh. Come and see. Come and see, oh. Come and see. Come and see what the Lord has done. 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 Come and see, oh. Come and see. Come and see, oh. Come and see. Come and see what the Lord has done. 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 See the way you love me. See the way you care for me, oh. You carry my matter for your head, oh. In a man, Like a little baby. You care over me, oh. You, you know they use me, they play, oh. In a man, From me, oh. you got him my matter for your head, oh. In a man, like a little baby, you get over me, oh. You know they use me, they play, oh. In a man, oh, be not so. Oh, 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 oh,
together for Jesus. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise. Amen. Grace to see many more of Ascension Day. The Lord will release upon every one of us in Jesus' name. Now, if your own birthday falls in the month of May, that of your grandchildren in the month of May. You start your business in the month of May. You contacted your wedding in the month of May. It's time for you to come forward to appreciate God. The band will lead us mm -hmm. as we dance forward. Like the vicar used to say, if you also buy the church card in the month of May, come forward. To come and thank God for grace to load that recharge card. Yes, chorus is.
the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Even when we remain unfaithful to God, God remains faithful to us according to our needs, even beyond that. Today, Lord, your children are before you to thank you for your faithfulness in their lives, your faithfulness in their marriages, your faithfulness in their businesses, your faithfulness concerning their prayer requests. Lord, may you accept all thanksgiving in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you have given some of them another year to the years in this world. May your name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thanksgiving is also a seed to ask for more. Lord, I pray according to their needs, according to, your, to their desires, Father, you will visit them and bless them in abundance in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, the words for sorry, it is well, take heart, will not be their portion in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that their lives will be for signs and wonders. And what they are thanking you for, we pray that, Father, you will multiply it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Accept their thanksgiving offering this day. And make them blessed in the land of the living, now and forevermore. Baby God, mighty God, Jesus Christ, you are the mighty God. Baby God, mighty God, Jesus Christ is the mighty God. Baby God, God, mighty God, Jesus Christ. You are the mighty God. Keep it God, mighty God. Jesus Christ is the mighty God. Oh, she be la no. Ma kolo go e. Oh, but oh she be la no. Eh eh ah ah. Ma kolo go e. Oh she be oh oh she be la no. Oba oba ma kolo go re, oba to she bi la nu, eh eh ah ah ma kolo go re. The Lord be with you. Last Sunday was a rogation Sunday, and it was well celebrated. And by the grace of God, people have been sharing their own testimony concerning derogation. If you were not in church last Sunday, and you also want to key into derogation blessings, you will come forward now with your rogation offering, something great, something tangible. It's not even offering, it's a seed. Because we believe every seed will surely bring forth great harvest. This year, Greater harvest will locate every one of us in Jesus' name. So the choir will lead us in praises as you will dance world. You were not around last Sunday, or the one you gave last Sunday you want to add to it. Come forward as the band lead us in praises. <laughs>
want you to just speak to that seed in your hand. Tell God exactly what you want him to do in your life concerning this seed. The Bible recorded as Solomon in 1 Kings chapter 3, verses 4 and 5, gave unto God a bountiful offering. And God gave him a blank check and said unto him, Ask whatever you want me to do for you. And he's doing the same thing right now upon this seed that you are holding before his presence. So shall it be unto that which you have asked in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O Lord, for your reign of blessings upon your children. We thank you, Lord, for the rogation of year 2022. And Father, Lord God, you have, your children are here with their seed offering in honor of this rogation. We pray, O Lord, that as long as they are remaining upon their lives, upon their finances, Upon their businesses, seed time and harvest time shall never cease in the mighty name of Jesus. O Lord, as you blessed Isaac, even in the land of Jira, during famine period, you made him prosperous. Father, we pray, O Lord, that upon their seed, O Lord, this one shall become prosperous in the mighty name of Jesus. They shall never lack anything good in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless, O oh Lord, their bread. Bless their wine. Bless their water in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless, O oh Lord, this seed in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Waiting, I go give to you my praise. I go give to you my praise.
Hallelujah. Lord, we know that you are the one that is able to bless. This week, in a wonderful way, you will bless your children in the name of Jesus. Lord, you are the ancient God. There is no other like you. Lord, we pray that this week, you will order all our footsteps in the name of Jesus. We pray that weeping is not a portion in the name of Jesus. Every agenda of darkness waiting for manifestation by the power that is in the name of Jesus, we cancel today in the name of Jesus. As you go into this week, Testimony upon testimony, we locate you in the name of Jesus. In this week, Lord, we pray that bomber to bomber harvest, you release upon your children in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, because you answer prayers. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we pray. And the peace of God which passes all understanding, Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Lord, we want to thank you for finding time to rejoice with us on this day, which is our patronal festival, the Founders' Day, also a day that we celebrate our heroes and our heroine, those that have become metal for the church. We pray that the Lord will bless their family in the name of Jesus. Their work will not be in vain for his church in the name of Jesus. We want to particularly welcome our first timers or those that are here celebrating with us. Kindly stand to your feet that we can celebrate you and celebrate Jesus Christ in your life. Anyone? Please celebrate them and appreciate God in their life. Welcome the Spirit of the Lord of hosts is with us. Blessings of the most high God is upon us. We are welcoming you into God's presence. May the 
spirit and his blessings be upon you. We say as you come into our midst, you will be blessed. Mightily we welcome you. We say welcome into Ascension Family. Thank you very much. We appreciate your coming. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. On that note, we also introduce uh, the postal land that has been posted to us. We have five in Ash Dickinry, and we have shared three to other churches under our Ash Dickinry. We kept two. We have three Methodist and two Anglican. I'm sure it will surprise you. We are Methodists. We have communion. We are in collaboration to each other. That is why Anglican priests can enter into the sanctuary of Methodists. And Methodists can enter into the sanctuary of Anglican. And we work together and we'll do the same. We pray that the Lord will bless their ministry. So two of them, we have uh, Postulant Ade Fala. God bless you in the name of Jesus. And also Postulant Ade Foluke. God bless you in the name of Jesus. So they will be here for this Sunday. And uh, by Wednesday, we will rotate them. Another set will come, collect them from where I posted them and also send these two people to the same place. So let them see the other life and know that life is not only in the city. There is also life in the village. So God bless your ministry in the name of Jesus. So the priest that you saw that came in with us uh, is their supervisor and also their lecturer and head of department at Emmanuel College of Theology. So that is why he came to check them and also going to other places. Many of them came, uh, posted to Archdeaconry. We also have about five, six to Cathedral, Bola, and other places. Pray that the Lord would build his church and his church will remain as one in the name of Jesus. We want to remind us immediately after now the love feast will take place. Don't be in a hurry. We have been told that so many, so much to eat and drink and wine. And I don't know if the wine is red, blue, or yellow. My own is that so many things to drink, to wine, to dine. So don't ask me which type of wine or drink. And my staff will always say, if you don't see something, you don't say something. Praise the Lord. So God will help us in the name of Jesus. Be societies like you did last year. Organize yourself very well. We want to see you there. We want to see us there. And all our elders, please be there. Papa or she and me, remember you are the chief chef. We have to assist you. So you have been designated chief uh, chef. You have to give us order. When you get to the party, and then you also tell us when to dance and when to boogie down. God bless us in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm sure Papa Shemi is having his uh, shirt and trouser available. Because this act that we enter supo. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Do not forget the weekly activities. We have Wednesday prayer meeting, Thursday Bible study. And we have a key to me on Friday. Remember, next week, Sunday, it's not combined service. So it is 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. service. So just because of what we are doing today, that's why we made it combined service to make it convenient for every one of us. Remember the prayer summit coming up Wednesday 1st to Friday 3rd. That's the beginning the month with the Lord. Please let us take note, 7 a.m. each day, and the 
topic is dominate to overtake. Dominate to overtake. Here, somebody will dominate. Not only dominate, the person will overtake. And the speed will be your portion. And grace of God will speak for you in the name of Jesus. You are not even sure if God will do it for you or not. By your amen. We also need to let us know that the gallery is prohibited henceforth when the church is not filled up to capacity. I'm going to give this order. I realize that we are having two churches, church within church. Something else is going on here, another thing is going on at the gallery. They are not with us at all. You see that they are pressing their phone, they are busy talking. I'm going to mandate, which I'm mandating now, the lead of steward, please, and sport, help us to always check the gallery and bring down whoever that is there. At the same time, I'm going to empower the guards. Even once in a while, they go up, they move around the congregation. That is the instruction I've given to them. Anybody they suspect, bring that person out and interrogate that person because it has got it to that level now that we need to be security conscious. Please, if they pick on you and ask you questions, don't be embarrassed, please. So please, it is not, I'm not taking permission from anyone. I'm giving it as an order, please. Upstairs, gallery is prohibited and sports. Until I know and the world is can feel that there is need for people to be there. Please, let us get this, let us get this clearly. God will help us in Jesus' mighty name. Our best lunch is on the 12th of June. We want to appreciate our youth and the teens class for the drama. 12th of June, 2022. Let us put that in mind. We've been reading so many letters to so many people. Rogation is as well ongoing. Let us pick dates for the priests to come to your facility, to your home. It will last for about two weeks. Let us take note of that. The Lord will be there for us in the name of Jesus. We remind us of the burial of Vivian Obatola Lano. He's coming up 1st June 2022, 10 a.m. Let us take note and give our sister a befitting barrier. We congratulate every one of us for our founders day today. The that are still laboring, we thank you. We want to request that those of us that are still living, please let us mentor the younger ones. Teach them how to be more involved in the church affairs. Teach them how to give like you. Teach them how they will be more involved in the church activities. We cannot leave the church empty, either we like it or not. All of us will go one day, in one way or the other. What will it be said of you? How many people have you mentored? It is not in secular work alone that you mentored people. You mentor people right in the church. My bishop will always say, Brother Femi, go and mentor people to be like you. And if we so much recognize mentorship like that, then in the church, we should also appreciate it. I want to appreciate every one of you who have contributed to the growth of this church. I can't be mentioning names, but I will have to say that if you are here at the foundation of this church, or five years after the foundation of the church, because 
people after five years are still laboring. I want to request you to please stand up, stand to your feet. We not want to celebrate you. You are here at the foundation. Five years after the foundation, please stand up. Let us put our hands together to appreciate these people. Please clap very well. I know what it takes. I know what it takes. I'm not talking about the younger generation. Please sit down for a day. Or you are standing for your father. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you. Yes, if you are here and you are standing for your father, you can also stand up. Please clap for them very well. I know what it takes to establish church or churches because we have been involved in establishing churches, very tasking, very laborious. The Lord will recognize your work in the name of Jesus. Also, I want you to celebrate Papa Jai Oba. If I'm not mistaken, it should be about the oldest in the church. Am I mistaken? Papa, please, Papa, please. And then also all those that are oldest. Please stand to your feet. Thank you so much. Papa, we thank you. God recognizes you. And the Lord will bless your family in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for all what you have done. Your labor will not be in vain. Go and write it down. Go and write it down. You will not do it in vain. And those that are still laboring will not be sick. They are not saying amen. You know what it, is, it means to be sick at old age? You will say amen very well. You will not be sick. You will not be bedridden. At your old age, because you are not old, though. You are not old yet. Apart from your you are still young. You know when you are talking to me that time, I say, okay, Baba, I've heard your story. You are not going anywhere now. You will not be sick. You will not be bedridden. Let's rise up to take weekly prophetic declaration. One, two, go. As I step into this week, I take authority by the evil ones concerning this new week. Those satanic incantation shall work against me in this new week. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. The withdraw him. Ha, a bemi, a washia, pity fell a O good Jesu fell a day no, a fair shagun. Oh, my comrades, see the signal waving in the sky. A false man now appearing. Victory is here.
Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.